Hi guys, so we do actually have a haul for you today and I'm just here with Snoopy and Ollie who are having a bit of oops, <laughs> popcorn in and a bit of dominance going on because I've just cleaned them out so they're reclaiming their houses and things like that but I did go into Pets at Home because I was running out of rabbit food and hay and things like that and um, they had a, new, a few new things in that I've never seen before so I did, oops end up getting more than I meant to again as usual but that's the normal story so I'll just show you what I got so the first things I got aren't very exciting I just got some hay and um, the hay section in pets at home is pretty rubbish there was only two different types of timothy hay and um, one just looked not very nice at all and the other one had um, bits of carrot like mixed in with it and I didn't really want to give them that because carrot is quite high in natural sugars and things and I didn't really want it mixed in with their hay. So um, this is what I got. Um, first I got the Burgess XL Dandelion, ugh, Dandelion and Marigold hay again. And I've had this before and my guinea pigs really like it. And this was £5 for this one kilogram bag which is a lot of money but they do quite like it so I bought them some of this hay as well and I thought I'd um, mix it in together so they just lasted a little bit longer because five pounds is a lot for a kilogram of hay and I do need to um, look around for farms and things by me that sell hay Ooh. <laughs> but um, I don't drive which is a bit of a pain um, so if I get hay in bulk I have to get it delivered and not many places to deliver and it's just a bit of a pain so um, so yes I got some of this to mix in with it and I can't remember exactly how much that one was I think it was about £3.50 something like that which again is still really expensive and this is 1.5 kilograms and it says it's super compressed um, and this one I thought looked really really fine so it wouldn't be very good for keeping their back teeth down but this one's got some really big stalky bits in so I thought if I mix them together um, that would work quite well so that's the first things I got which isn't very exciting and then I got some um, 10 kilogram bags of rabbit food um, just to stock up majorly um, because I like having a lot more food than I need. Um, I always keep like the guinea pigs have got a spare bag in there and I always keep some more food than I need just in case um, I get poorly or something like that and can't run out at the last minute to get some. So I like to be prepared so I got a couple bags of them and that's the Burgess oops, <laughs> um, adult rabbit food and that they were £17 um, and then and then I got some some Pets at Home guinea pig nuggets and um, the reason why I'm switching them from Burgess is because someone contacted me on one of my last hauls I think and um, informed me that the Burgess guinea pig nuggets are actually alpha based um, and these are Timothy Hay based and because my guinea pigs are over six months old they need a Timothy Hay based nuggets because um, if they have too much calcium in their diet it can cause bladder stones and things like that so um, they need to be on a Timothy Hay based nugget really so I'm going to be switching them onto the Pets at Home guinea pig nuggets um, until I find another oops, Timothy Hay based nugget that I prefer but they've been on this before and they did quite like it and um, yeah, I switched them on to Burgess because um, they were quite young and now, because they, they're all over six months now, I'm going to be switching them back onto a Timothy Hay based nugget. And this bag was £8.59 for a four kilogram bag, which isn't too bad at all. I think it works out quite a lot cheaper than the Burgess nuggets, which is a plus. And the next things I got are for the hamsters. And um, this is the food that my dwarf hamsters are on at the moment. They're on the Burgess Super Hamster. And my Syrian is on 
um, Burgess Super Hamster as well, but the Syrian mix. And um, she's got loads of food at the moment. But I thought I'd also mix in some hamster nuggets um, with this this one for my dwarves, um, just to give them a bit of variety. Um, my Syrian's got some of this mixed into her food. I tend to um, mix a few different types of food together. But because these nuggets are quite small, um, the dwarves will be able to fit them in their pouches. So I thought I'd buy that um, as well, just to mix in as a bit of variety. And um, the Super Hamster was £3, and the Pets at Home one was £2.59, which isn't too bad at all, because they don't go through this very quickly, um, because they're quite small, they don't eat very much. So this should last them ages. And then I just treated them to a couple of things from the Woodlands range. And these were three for the price of two. Um, they were meant to be three pounds each, but I only paid six pounds for all three, so I didn't think that was too bad. This one's the blackcurrant and apple, which I've given them before, and they really, really like. It's got some lovely big leaves in there, and it's got loads of twigs in there as well, which they all love munching. There's a couple here in their bowls, and um, they really like munching on them, so I thought I'd treat them to some more. And the next thing is just this clover and plantain leaf mix. And um, I've never tried this before, but I thought it looked really yummy. And um, they like all these dried um, things from um, Wilkinson's. The dandelion and green oat is their favourite treat. So I thought I'd treat them to that. And um, I don't like giving them many shop-bought treats, um, but because these are all natural things, they're just some um, dried plants I thought they'd be healthy for them so I thought that'd be a lot better than buying them some shop bought treats and the last thing is this Twiggy treats and like I showed you earlier they really really like just munching on these both sets of pigs um, really enjoy nibbling on them and I'm not too sure what wood is in there but um doo -doo -doo. Ah, apple twigs linden twigs, birch tree so yeah there's loads of different types of trees in there and um, I know they especially like apple so um, I thought they'd really enjoy them and the next thing I got is this loofah teddy bear and I just thought that was so sweet I've never seen it in there before and they had quite a few different colours they had orange, green purple and something else I think but I thought that was so sweet and um, my guinea pigs aren't really that bothered about loofah um, Snoopy and Ollie tend to ignore it and Gizmo and Jafar have a little nibble so that might go to the bunnies um, or it might go in Gizmo and Jafar's but I thought that was so sweet and it was only £1.50 and it's actually quite big that's quite a lot of loofah for your money so I couldn't resist getting that. The next thing I got are these small bull rush balls and I just thought they were really really sweet. They were a pound which doesn't sound like a lot but it's not a very big toy um, but I just thought that was so cute I couldn't resist and again it's from the Woodlands range which I really really like and um, I bought one for each set of guinea pigs um, and I think they'll really enjoy them and for the sake of a pound I thought they were very cute and the last thing I got is this stick and nut chew and um, it does have a nut on so it might go to the hamsters or I might crack the nut and take it off and give it to the guinea pigs um, it, it will probably end up going to Gizmo and Jafar because they're the biggest chewers and um, to be honest, they'll probably ignore the nut, um, but if they do start chewing it, I will take it off, or I might cut it and um, thread it on a new piece of string, because I've got some natural strings somewhere. And that cost me £3, which is quite a lot for some bits of wood, but I do love all these hanging sort of chews, and it makes their cage look a lot more colourful and makes it a lot more interesting and um, none of my guinea pigs actually bite the bars but um, 
if you had any animals that wouldn't stop biting the bars, hanging loads of different exciting things on it tends to distract them and then they'll chew this instead of the bars. But um, all my animals are pretty good really to be honest. Um, the only one who bites the bars, oh, <laughs> um, Snoopy does bite the bars when I'm getting veg ready and he gets a bit impatient. But um, other than that, that's it really. He looks so cute. Oopsie. Still quite, haven't got the hang of the zoom. And Ollie's in there as well. These two have bonded so well since I've put them together. There was a couple of weeks where they were a little bit argumentative with each other. And um, when I clean them out, they still go around and assert dominance. But they've stopped spraying on things now, which is really, really good. Because um, it did get a bit smelly. Um, I'd just clean them out and then they'd go around and scent mark on everything and the room would be a bit stinky. But um, they've bonded really well now. And they look so cute. <laughs> so this is everything I got. Um, it did come to quite a lot but I needed to get some of the essentials anyway because I was running out of food for the bunnies and hay and that sort of thing anyway. And also um, I did sign up to a Pets at Home VIP card and I had a voucher through for £5 off when I spent over £25 and it ran out um, at the end of this month so I thought I'd use it up because um, £5 off is quite a lot so um, I thought that was great so if you do go to Pets at Home a lot it might be worth signing up for a VIP card and um, I also got this through um, I also got this for free when I went in and um, with the VIP card and it's got quite a lot of vouchers and things which will be quite useful so there's um, some money off XL complete food cubes and things like that and um, I think it's mainly aimed at if you've got dogs. There's also money off um, runs and hatches and that sort of thing. So um, that might be worth getting um, if you go to Pets at Home a lot. And I was also looking at this. And um, because I've wanted to go to the Burgess Small Pet Show for quite a while, but it's really, really far away from me um, because I live in the southwest. So. I think um, the Burgess Pet Show is near Yorkshire or something like that. It's quite far up the country. So I was thinking about going to this, um, the London Pet Show. So let me know if any of you are going to that. And um, I might be getting tickets soon. So it um, be nice to know if anyone else is going. And you can always um, keep an eye out for me and give me a shout out if you're there. And um, also this came through. This is the new small furry pets magazine and um, it's got some really really good articles I haven't read the whole thing yet but I've had, had, have had a look through there's a bit here about the London pet show and um, there's also bits about um, rats and um, training giant rats um, to sniff out tuberculosis and things like that which is really really interesting and um, so it's definitely worth getting that um, and I've got a subscription now because I think it's really really cute and um, I love all the little pictures and things like that so I think that's it so here's everything I got and thank you for watching if you know anything about any of these things let me know because I haven't tried most of these things so um, let me know and here are the pigs, they're happy because I've just cleaned them out. Oh, <laughs> Having a scratch. Aww. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll speak to you later. Bye!